Oh, I didn't see you there. What is up, you bastards? Happy freaking Friday. Thanks for tuning in on... This is definitely not the first live luxurious lounge, but it's one of them. Let's see who we got in the chat. Hold on, I'm getting a little feedback. Reverb. <clears throat> we got E. Joshua. Stroker. Stroker Ace. No ticket on my last two orders. Do do still? Yeah, heck yeah, I do giveaways. Um, what I've been asking people to do is when you place your order, if it's over $75 or more, uh, you'll know because uh, you'll get the free shipping. Uh, and then just request for a ticket. You can put it in the comments section, in the notes section before you check out, or shoot me an email afterwards, or a DM, or text, whatever. Just let me know. I've been doing that in order to reduce the amount of dead pulls, like when I do the giveaways, because before they would go like three hours long. So now, now that I've been doing it like that, everybody that gets a ticket knows what it's for. And the streams have been like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. Josh Z. Erwin. We got D78. Gerard, how's it going? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We live, baby. We made it another week. I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> I'm still pouring. Um, I, I just poured the balm and I loaded up the butter. So, got it. After this, I'm pouring YSL. Another little sneaky, sneaky coming Sunday. What's up, David? What are we talking about tonight? Uh, the new stuff going up Sunday, including these badass babies and whatever Sunday need them tickets it's a good rainy Friday today is a good day to have a good day gonna go broke Sunday <laughs> hit the ginger don't be a don't be a Karen Come on, Ginger. Yes, sir. New mugs for 2024. If you... I found this on the web. No. If you uh, go to the site or the app, click on the new products, you'll be able to check these things out. Sunday, fun day. Decided to go with a ice cold Dr. Pepper because believe it or not, it pairs well with the stick of the evening. Happy Friday, Damien. Wait, is that is that Damien? Yeah. Damien? Damien? I've seen that spelled a, a whole bunch of different ways. Good old DP, yes. The previous mugs are so nice, and now you have more. <laughs> hey, you know what? I got to keep it interesting. Speaking of interesting, I don't know if I can... Hold on, let me take this tape off. Did you know... Let me get the tape off of this cedar. I forget who showed me this, but some of these cigars, like this one here, this is uh, from CAO, it's their Moon Trace. They come wrapped with this little piece of cedar. So now that I took the tape off, you can see it's just, just a piece of cedar. Mm, I love the way that smells. So you can take the cedar. And 
instead of lighting your cigar with a you know a traditional lighter or torch sometimes you can actually taste the butane so they give you these pieces of cedar you light the cedar and then you use the cedar to light the cigar because it puts off a nice flavor but it also can get dangerous I remember I burned myself once doing this, but kind of something like that. I don't think I have them in here. Downstairs I have these, uh, it's a tube and they're called uh, cedarwood spills and you can order it from like cigar companies. And it's just a stick of cedar that you use for lighting your cigar. Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know how many we're at because I have a little surprise for all of you luxurious bastards. Give me some recommendations on cigars. Um, there's so many, gosh. A good, safe, tasty, affordable cigar to try if you just want to, you know, dip your toes in. Um, the Tatiana cigars, you get like 50 in a box and they're it's a they're pretty reasonable price. You can order five packs as well, but it's a all around, has a good room note, has a pretty decent flavor. They burn well, affordable. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Twenty two. Twenty two lies so far. Likes. Oh, it was like lies. Tatiana chocolate. Yes, I need to order some more of those actually. Irish bastard arrived today wearing it. Love it. Awesome. Hey, how's the sound, by the way? Background music's not too loud versus my voice. Where's this? The, uh, yeah, I think I'm at a 26. Let me know if it's too loud. Like maybe you're like right there. All good. All right. Mm. All right, let's. Mm. Yep, that goes well. Okay, <clears throat> so traditionally, I would fire up the lounge, shoot the video, uh, you know, download it, edit, add the music sound effects and all that it takes a it takes a long time and then somebody on one of my streams was like hey you know what you should just do live streams for friday and i'm thinking about it and i'm like i don't see why i couldn't it's way easier because you know i'm streaming right now so as soon as i'm done it automatically uploads to youtube so i don't really need to yeah i can't do any fancy edits but you know works out just because I have limited time usually on Fridays. So I think from now on, I'm gonna just do Friday lounge videos live. How do you like those apples? And what I'm going to do, Unless it starts getting really crazy, like we start getting like 100, 200, 300 people in here on Fridays. <clears throat> I'm planning to release something special for you guys that are in the stream um, every Friday, or I'm going to try to put out every Friday. 
but I made an oil specifically for this stream exclusive oil with today's date 3 24 I made 30 no 40 of these so like right now there's 33 of you in here right now so each one of you if you want you could grab one maybe not right this second because it'll probably like mess up the stream but I don't know if you guys noticed if you click on the description for the live stream and scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's a link there. I tried to keep it off of the website so like nobody would find it. Only the people that are in the stream right now, by clicking on that link, will take you to this limited oil. So a little something for you guys for this first live, official live stream. On Friday no name for it yet just a profile that I had in my cookbook nice soft sweet cologne type vibe on this one this was a custom from like two years ago and I kind of tweaked it and I starred I put a little asterisk by it so I knew that this was one that I would possibly could possibly do a full run of but like I said, there's 40 of these only up for grabs for anybody that's in the, the live stream right now. <clears throat> so how about those apples? Little special something for you bastards for joining in on the stream. Uh, see, I missed some comments here. Sunday's oils. Yes. Let's talk about that. Beards and bow ties. Mm. I ain't got no time, man. I'm, I've been like constantly trying to catch up with uh, restocking and restocking. And then when I finally get caught up in what I restocked like a week ago is already needing to be restocked. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, lives would be awesome. Questions for sure about Sunday. Any chance of coconut, pineapple, and mango? Yes. I have something similar to that, you know, in the cookbooks. Says they're out of stock. Oh, well, duh. Hold on a second. I forgot to add them on when I fired up the stream. <laughs> Let's see. Technical difficulties. Let's see. Log in. Let's add them right now. Limited live stream oil. I need to change this to 40 bottles. That was the final total. <clears throat> and here we go. Oh, not 740. 40. 3, 2, 1. Boom. Quantity updated. And they are now refresh there we go they are live now any orange besides sweet yes I don't know if you remember or got a chance to grab my sweet grove that one I'm definitely gonna do again in the summer because it's one of my favorites for anytime I go down and I do the the uh, deprivation tank, the float chamber. That's like my favorite oil to put on after that because you, my senses are like turned up on high. Got to get some help in the shop. Well, I, I have two ladies that help me with shipping and labeling, but I'm the one that does 
making all the products and all of that fun stuff and printing the orders and handling customers. <clears throat> Lux, will we ever see butter for Enigma? Yes. Soothing, I'm not sure. It's not really like a crazy mover, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Enigma, definitely, because the feedback on that is crazy. I want one personally for myself, so I'm definitely going to be making some of those. Boom, got one. Heck yeah, secured mine. I think you guys are going to like this. Maybe I'll, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to handle a new one every Friday. So maybe I should do every other Friday. I don't know. We'll see. I definitely have enough profiles that I can make a new oil. Probably two new oils a week for like the next two years. Easy. Got mine ordered. Wonder how fast these are going to sell out <laughs> haven't made haven't made a scent that you didn't like dude that's awesome um if you click on the link down in the description uh, it'll take you to the page and then i have i ha wrote in like a nice little badass thing for it every friday of course Brutus, yeah, that was my uh, kind of rendition of Brute, like Brute Cologne, Yo, or the, not the Cologne, but the uh, Aftershave. What is new? What is new that is going to sell out just joined? So I made a special oil just for this live stream for everybody that joined in it's an exclusive with today's date 3:22:24. if you uh click on the description of the live and scroll all the way down to the bottom there's a link just for you guys to grab one of these calming invigorating scent Yeah. Yep. Now that you said that. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Makes my mouth water. This is going to get it probably a lot of compliments from the female. People are going to be like, oh, what cologne is that, that you're wearing? My last order blew my blown my mind <laughs> that is awesome enigma in the butter yeah that one's a little expensive so um i will be ordering the stuff i need to do that one here in the next couple of weeks <sighs> all right so for sunday besides these badass mugs that will be going up sunday i am going to be releasing a small batch i don't know why i all of a sudden got crazy amount of requests for it um but september september i know it's march but i'm going to be dropping september bastard oil butter bomb sunday as well as a small batch of black flag. <sighs> when I was cleaning up all of my um, stuff from doing the customs, I found a whole basket of stuff. And I'm like, oh, you know, checking it all out and realized that that was everything that uh, I needed for um, black flag. So I'm like, oh, shoot. Hmm don't want to put it on the shelf and bring it bring it out in like October which I, I might bring it out anyway but I was like you know what let's do it so I uh, produced a small batch of that not a you know there's only like maybe 30 bombs 30 butters and like 50 oils something like that so not a crazy big batch 
and then last minute pulled it out of my butt ysl which i'm going to finish pouring after the live stream so ysl will also be going up sunday so you got ysl black flag then you have uh september the mugs and i was really hoping they might show up i'm not sure yet but i have a big batch of the tumblers i don't have one here because they're all sold but the uh satin black with the logos the stainless steel tumblers more than likely i'll probably put them on the site next week sometime maybe like monday unless for some reason they show up before i leave here then the, they will also be going up sunday I'll, I'll shoot out the email that i normally do i think on saturday letting everybody know what exactly is coming then i need to update the app too so it's just a lot easier to find everything because you know me i'm pumping stuff out left and right YSL, if you go to, man, I wonder if I can put, hold on, can I put a link in here? Hold, hold the phone. I think I can. If this works, that'll be cool. Hold on. Copy. Hmm. I don't think that worked. Wow, Greenwood. I haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah, it doesn't look like that worked. Let me switch this to the new section. That way you guys can find it. I wasn't sure I was going to make it, so I kind of had it hidden from the site. So let me tag this with new save. All right. So now... I think you guys would be able to find it just by, well, refreshing your app or your site, click on the new products tab, and it should pop up. It worked? Oh, wow. Yeah, it didn't, it doesn't show like an active link on my side. Well, I'm in StreamYard right now, so that's probably why. Hmm. And I just restocked Holy Bastard today. Oil, butter, bomb. That one's been out forever. Um, yeah, I've been I've been working hard to get everything restocked. Woodsman the other day. Um, luxurious. Yeah, a lot. And then I just got the ingredients in to do. Uh, the run of the beard and body wash that I've been wanting to do like forever in the nice, it's kind of like a, a sweet orange cedar type vibe. So once the aloe plus the natural unscented is gone, I'm going to be producing a batch of that. Yeah. YSL is um, my version of that. Um, St. Lawrence. Black Flag is one of the best. Thank you, man. That's cool. It worked. Well, perfect. Now I know. So that means I could probably put this one in here. Make it easier. Does it pull up? Ooh, it might. Oh my gosh, I got a leg cramp. 
I hit legs today a little bit too hard. I've been out of the gym for like two weeks. Whew. Now I'm getting leg cramps. Let's try that. Boom, does that work? So that is the special oil that I just created for this live stream tonight for all of you amazing bastards. Uh, exclusive 322.24. I wore a smoky bastard a couple days last week and it still smells new after three years. Dang, that's awesome. That's a testament because people always ask me, how long your oils last? My kids are on the way. <clears throat> Tobacconist compared to TCBC, completely different animal. Definitely. Link works. Hell yeah, that's awesome. September. September. Boom. Yeah, TCVC is like a staple towards the end of the year tcvc definitely going to be doing october again uh cozy bastard yeah and then you know i'm gonna have to make a new one because you know every year i gotta try to top it which is becoming more and more difficult let me tell you That's funny that you say that about the co-wash. Um, I had a barbershop request because they have my they have my coconut, the tropical one, and they were asking for one that almost has like a like a like a minty cucumber type. So I've been kind of playing around with a few things and um, I have one that I'm kind of messing with right now. It's definitely like same exact ingredients but the smell of this one is like very almost like refreshing so but i don't know if that's something that um you guys are going to be interested in or not harvest will definitely be back another great one autumn yep <laughs> just dm my bank account number oh that's terrible <clears throat> The best part about you doing the live streams is no ads popping up in the middle of it. Oh yeah. Need sun kissed. Mm -hmm. Any plans of putting TCVC in the, nah. No, that one um, has a lot to it. And it was just, it, you know, would, uh, it's almost like, um was the other one that i used to have curious curious had like 13 ingredients in it and it was very complicated always hard to make sure i have everything in stock make something called the spooky bastard <laughs> yeah you'll see black beard and southern as soon as it gets warmer warmer love the southern Mint is awesome. Tea, tea tree is awesome. Believe it or not, I'm not a huge fan of tea tree. So that's why I don't really make too many things using tea tree. I don't know. There's just something about it that... I don't know. Just the twang of it. Just kind of... Oof. <sighs> Did any of you guys grab one of the uh, big old challenge coins yet or 
Did you get yourself an enigma? Love this one. Oh, man. So good. I had some people freaking out about the the cloudiness of it. And it's just because of the oud that I used in it. It was very cloudy. So I got at least like five or six people like, oh my gosh, my oil is bad. Or they thought I've used emu oil in it. Oh, so good. Too many choices. I don't know how you guys do it. Placed your order looking forward to it. Right on, man. <clears throat> Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad the Woodsman made the lineup, but also loved the Backwoods. Backwoods. Yeah, that's another good profile. See, there's so many that I've produced. I've forgotten half of them. So you guys always remind me, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> there's a profile. Um... Not this last custom, but the customs that I did, I think, early last year <clears throat> using some, what was it? It was like a oak moss, fern, cedar wood, kind of a natural earthy uh, note. <clears throat> and I just got some ingredients in yesterday that I think I'm going to try to blend with that again. So like I said, I probably have... I could probably release two new profiles if I had the time every week for like the next two years. Just just flipping through the customs stuff. Because everything I make customs wise, I, I have to like it myself. So I have, <laughs> you know, like, I don't even know, 400 bangers, maybe. Again, I feel bad for you guys. It's like there's so many choices. I keep cleaning up my um, my side of the sink at home, and it's only been like three three weeks, and I already have like this massive collection again. <clears throat> Always testing, blending, and mixing things up. Throwing a lot, throwing away a lot of stuff just because I, I just can't use it. Tried a luring bastard yesterday for the first time and it's really one of a kind. Yes. That's what I'm wearing today. Alluring for the win. I think I'm definitely going to try to make alluring, uh, make a spray cologne on, on that one. Oh, that reminded me. I'll be releasing another small batch of the 1886 spray cologne Sunday as well. I got to remember to do that before I leave. Ginger. She's downstairs, I think. Deadwood was another great one. Oh, the cool bastard. Yep. Summertime, probably. Every custom I grabbed is so good. <laughs> Yeah, people have some really clever ideas. My favorite? That's hard. I think my favorite is usually the newest ones that I'm making. I mean, I've been wearing the hell out of Alluring. Uh, Misfits. Um, what else? What else? I'm trying to envision... Misfits, Alluring, um, Diamond Hand. I have um, some Enigma, but I think mainly right now, Alluring. <clears throat> have you ever done a beard oil called Casanova Bastard? It would have been a custom if I did. Sounds like maybe, yes, I might have. Oh yeah, ombre. I think ombre, enigma, alluring, 
they're all in that like kind of same classification i have another one um again derived from a custom um that's also in that category like exotic ouds kind of a not a stink like in a bad way but it just has that like bite to it um maybe i'll do that next friday you know it'll be whatever the date is for next friday's special oil for you guys that way you can you guys are kind of like my my official testers official unofficial testers but i i think it's i think i'm going to end up wearing that as much as alluring to be honest Have you ever made something for just yourself? Something you was like, nah, guys, this one is <laughs> no, because usually when it's that good, I want to, I want to share it. I want to release it for you guys. Havana. That was a good one. Um, yeah. PayPal flagged almost every single one of those orders because of that. They were, they thought I was like selling illegal Havana cigars or something. Ombre beard wash? Ooh, I don't know. That might be a little bit too potent. Definitely, I think I might do ombre in the uh, spray cologne, though. That, I think that one could do well. What does the marijuana scent that you put in oil smell like by itself smells like straight up like marijuana tar it's it's freaking strong i don't use much in the different blends and you can still smell it i mean we're talking like like one or maybe two drops and it's like woo it's strong and I always have people ask me if it's uh, CBD or, you know, it's gonna, no, it's just a fragrance. It doesn't, it's not going to show up on any drug tests or anything like that. I agree. Ombre cologne would be fire. <clears throat> Alluring too. I got to get a better deal on those. The bottles for the spray cologne are freaking expensive. For 20 bottles, is it 20 that I, yeah, 20 at a time. So my last order, it was like 200 and something dollars for 20 bottles. Or was it 40 bottles? I don't know, but it's freaking, it's probably one of the most expensive packaging things that I buy. And I've only been able to find it from one vendor. I second the Bob Marley. <clears throat> Where can I get the marijuana oil from? Um, like for yourself or shoot me a message. I might be able to get you like a little, you know, sample of it or something. Yes, sir. I made an exclusive oil. I don't know how many are left now. 322.24. It's just for this live stream and it's just for all of you amazing bastards that joined in. I think if you scroll up or down, you might be able to find the link for it or in the description of the video, scroll all the way down to the bottom. There's a little hidden link down there. Yes, I agree. The bottles are sexy. That's why I don't want to change it. Chakra Cologne. Mm. That would be a powerhouse too. I know the last time I did Chakra Beard and Body Wash. That was... <laughs> that turned out pretty good just because like when I would use it, it would make the whole bathroom smell like Chakra. It was freaking pretty crazy.
do you plan on doing any of the Viking series in spray colognes? I don't know. I never thought about that. Those, a lot of those are pretty potent as well. So I would, it would be fun playing with the ratios to try to get it to where it wasn't like Pepe Le Pew. See, there's another one that I forgot about. Oodberry. That's a good summer profile. Ginger, damn it. She should be in here taking notes. I got a note to self. Foodberry. Got to look at the ingredients for that one. Boom. Noted. I love the stink of black, the black black has. Yeah. Shocker beard and body wash was amazing. Would it be possible within guidelines for you to set up some sort of recycling program where we send you back to empty bottles? I don't know if that would be cost effective or not though. And the funny thing is, I was just thinking about that today as I was opening up a fresh batch of the green bottles and I'm thinking, I've been doing this for like five years now. And like, I can't imagine how many green beard bottles are out there lots wow crazy and i still think that as far as like in the bearded industry i'm i'm still new like i feel like i've only reached 20 percent of bearded you know beardos out there cannot wait for black flag it is a good one. Not a huge run, so try not to sleep on it. Don't buy it. All I need to. What? Don't buy it. All I need is two. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Brain fart. It's Friday. Hmm. All right, so let's recap. <clears throat> YSL, which I need to go pour now here very shortly. YSL going up, Black Flag, September, the new mugs, and a small batch of 1886 cologne. I think I have enough to do 10 or 12, I think, both bottles. Um, other than that, I think that's it as far as like new stuff going up. There's still a few of the challenge coins left. Um, I just made some more alluring oil as that there was only like two bottles left as of today. So I just put those up. Um, vetiver butter should be in stock now. I believe I restocked that one early in the week, I think. Vetiver. Yep. Vetiver butter is in stock. Boom, there's the link. Hopefully it works still. 60 green bottles in my house alone. Holy crap. That's a pallet of bottles. Wow. <laughs> I think that's... I probably have about 60 myself. No, maybe like 40. And tons of like containers and testers and stuff in my bathroom. Luxurious oil out of stock. Is it? Oh, 
Oh yeah, it is. That's right. Because I just made the, I just restocked the butter and the bomb and I freaking ran out of, um, the, one of the ingredients that I use for that. So I have it on order actually. So I should be able to re, uh, have the Lux oil restocked like Tuesday, I think. I know Gerard, <laughs> that's just what you have. Who knows how many you've used and tossed. I need to uh, put out a challenge and have people post a picture of like their glorious, like luxurious hoard. And uh, that way I can like feature it on the website or something. Maybe new Lux, but your scent profiles and strength are second to none. Not to mention the feel and beard. That's probably one of the biggest compliments I get, especially from new customers. Mmm, delicious. All right. What else we got? What else we got? <clears throat> All right. Well, it is almost four o'clock over here. I still have to pour YSL butter. Um, and then I got to go pick up my kiddos. And that is it for Friday. So just a little recap of the recap. I made an exclusive oil for all of you glorious bastards that join in for the stream. 32224. If you click on the description of the live stream, scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll be able to find it right there. I tried to kind of hide it from the website, so you're not going to like really find it unless you search specifically. Um, but I made 40 of them for you guys. 54 butters in my collection gosh dang that's a lot of butters and do you rotate through them all or are you just collecting them beverage of the evening was actually just a straight up good old-fashioned dr pepper in the new 2024 edition luxurious mugs. And for all of you pipe and cigar connoisseurs out there, um, it's been put into pr production again, but my, I don't have any over here. The cigar and pipe ashtrays, the, you know, ceramic ones. Uh, I'll, I'll soon have another batch of those. I think like 10 of the, trays that hold two cigars and a pipe and then 10 that just hold three cigars so look out for those probably in i don't know a couple of two or three weeks 80 butters holy sh where do you store all of that that's a lot of containers man You guys need to send in some pictures so I can throw them on the website. I see your post going to the gym. What kind of car do you drive? Are you a cardio guy or throwing iron around? Um, Iron, and then I usually finish with some light cardio. Uh, as far as the, I think mainly I'm in my truck. <clears throat> 20, 2020 Chevy Silverado. Every once in a while, I'll drive my Beamer, but mainly my truck. 
does it have a cork on it to knock the pipe it doesn't but um amazon sells those little corks with the you know the sticky on the bottom you could easily pop one of those in the middle or off to the side they're really cheap sounds like a storage locker worth i know <laughs> Makes my 10 bottles child's play. Hey, 10 bottles is a lot. Before I started this whole luxurious bastard company, when I was buying products, I think I typically had about six of each, like six oils, six, um, well, back then I was using bombs. So I'd buy the matching bomb for it. I thought that was a lot for back in like 2015, 16. The new oil, it's actually in the description, but let me throw in the link again here. There you go. Should pop up in a second. I don't think you'd be able to find it in the app either because I it's kind of like unlisted. <clears throat> All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Friday and a great weekend. Um I'm going to shoot out that email, I think, sometime Saturday, and I'll have all the details of everything that we talked about. And then we will see you guys on Sunday. Don't forget, if you do place an order that's $75 or more after, you know, all your, the discounts and everything, it'll trigger the free shipping. And then just send me a message however you can uh, with your order number. Let me know that, that you want a ticket, which will look like these it'll go in the monthly drawing giveaway and those are fun i always do 12 runner-up prizes and then i have by that time i usually have a nice big pile of the mega giveaway man it's making a mess over here ginger but end of the month it's always great fun times so I think that's it before you leave hit the like button and if you are watching this like after the fact hit the like button it's free oh and that's it i'm out of dp all right you bastards <sighs> have a good weekend Love you guys, and until next time, get luxurious, my friends. We will see you Sunday. Well, you won't actually see me, but we'll be back.